autumn, a huge seasonal change sweeps through the UK's woodlands as vast numbers of trees drop their leaves. But with more than one billion broadleaf trees in Great Britain alone, why are we not drowning under a thick blanket of leaves? Enter one of nature's greatest recyclers. The UK is home to over 25 species of earthworm. They are one of the hardest working creatures on or under the earth, and without them, our countryside would be a very different place. They excel at turning organic waste matter like leaf litter into something really rather useful, soil. But how does a creature with no hands or feet go about doing this? We set cameraman Matt Thompson the task of revealing the mystery of their lives. So this is the One Show Worm Hotel. Now, to introduce some of the guests. Once the worms have settled in, Matt adds some food and he's got a plan to see the worms underground. We've got a thin tank on the end of here, just a couple of centimetres wide, and a window. Worms are most active after dark, so Matt's going to run his cameras throughout the night, and we'll come back in a week or so to see how he's got on. This is four hours compressed into 10 seconds. <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? That is great. Uh, you, you couldn't see that in any other way. And it really shows their capacity yeah. to clear these leaves. Matt's also filming some live shots of the worms. He's using an infrared camera because of the worm's sensitivity to normal light. That leaf there, Matt, is moving around, <laughs> and I can see the shadow of a worm behind it. There. Oh, there. There he comes. There's a worm coming out. What we have to bear in mind is that worms haven't got hands. But what they have got is a lip, which called the prostomium, which help the worm feel its way through the soil. But that, that can also wrap around the, the end of the leaf and, and sort of hold it. Yep. Now it's got a good grip of the end of that leaf. And it's try yeah, look at that. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. It's taken the whole leaf. Fantastic. <laughs> it's got it down. The leaf tipping up. It seems bizarre that I've never actually taking the time to look after dark and actually just watch what happens. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite remarkable. But most of the worm's activity happens underground, and this is where Matt's narrower tank comes into play. This is why earthworms are so essential. They take soil from the top to the bottom, they take soil from the bottom to the top, they put air holes through it, and then their manure, which of course is worm cast, breaks down all that decaying material into food for plants. They are literally bioengineers. Without earthworms, the soil simply wouldn't look like this. It would be very poor and basically horrible. This is a wonderful view of the worm's environment, and Matt has filmed them hard at work underground. Four worms, at least five. Is this where they've thrown the cast? I think, I think that's a worm poo being produced. That is great. There can be as many as 1,000 earthworms in one square meter of soil, each eating up to a third of their body weight every day. Their presence in our soils can increase crop yields by up to 25%. Their contribution to our world is enormous, far beyond simply removing a ton of leaves. So next time you see one wriggling about in your garden, think about the rest of the earthworm army working hard for us underground. <laughs>